We're just going for it. There's no chill with this checkpoint. Oh my god, the slow motion. I can't remember who said this, but somebody said it's mimicking how it feels to run away from something in a nightmare. Where you just can't make your limbs move the way they're supposed to. Oh my god! That's six is theme. So he creates the glitching remains when he abducts someone. Oh, okay. Oh, what? A lot has happened in the last 45 seconds. Huh. I don't even know where to start with the... That's the inside of the TV. This mass of flesh and eyes. Mono can travel through them. Uh, effortlessly now. He was... That's why we... Oh my god! That's why we woke up with a TV next to us. We were just spat out of it. Okay. Oh my god. <sighs> okay, so he when he abducts someone, he th they leave their glitching remains behind. And I are they added to the mass inside the TV? Is that what he's doing? Harvesting? Is that true for all of the glitching remains? All that's left behind are the like, are like those shadow Oh right, 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 right. Okay, so okay. So in uh, Little Nightmares, there was something that I don't think I ever noticed until after the let's play. Um in every single scene where Six eats something, there is a shadowy version of her that you can spot in the background briefly. And she's also there when you kill the lady at the at the end of the game. Oh, hello. I don't know why I dropped instead of jumping. Huh. Huh. Okay. This is a prequel. This is a prequel. That's why Six doesn't start with a raincoat in this. Huh. Wait. Oh, no, no, no. Because, right. Because when I was going back through the first chapter to get the glitching remains, um, and I met Six again for the first time, I realized that wasn't the mall that was scribbled on the room. It was the signal tower. It's the signal tower and then um, a few of the tally marks and then a stick figure drawing. Like, it, it's not just how long she was there. It's some kind of full timeline. How do I use this? Uh, nope. Nope. This has to be for the TV, right? Do I have to be close to it? Oh! Okay, it's the same button as it was for the flashlight. So 
So, is being abducted by the Thin Man why she's so insatiably hungry? Because the, the shadow, it could mean hollowness or emptiness. Something that she's watching, the, the Shadow Six is watching the Corporeal Six uh, try to fill. Because the whole theme was consumption and consumerism. And that would seem to be significant, her presence there. But I wonder if she's meant to represent like a sort of spiritual or, or inner emptiness. Something which is never filled, no matter what the physical body of Six consumes. And what she's eating, too, right? It starts off as, uh, I think it's just like a hunk of bread or something? And it escalates. She becomes driven by that insatiable need to consume, and it, it, it becomes further inculcated into this process of dehumanization until she's killing and eating the gnome, until she kills the lady. Oh, holy shit. Oh my god, a lot of things are falling into place right now. Also, I have to keep an eye out because I know... Because I know the last uh, glitching remain is somewhere nearby. Uh, I know it's in an area called the mail room. Or it's just past here. And this would... This seems like the mail room. Oh, okay, okay. This is what I was missing. Sorry, I've been thinking about all the implications of the first 45 seconds of this video. Because my head is spinning right now. Oh my god. Um. Did I happen to mention before that the musical theme for uh, Six and Mono, the, the one that they share together, is called Togetherness? Which, which itself is just brilliant, but it's made up of, um, of both of their leitmotifs. Uh, and I learned something neat about Six's part in that theme recently. So, um, Vox put out this cool explainer video a few years ago on this very particular melody that shows up as a leitmotif really often. Oh, I think it's out here. Uh, like, remember the music that plays in Fellowship of the Ring when Gandalf confronts Bilbo about the ring that... Dun, 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 dun. It's called the Dies Irae. Um, it was used hundreds of years ago for funeral masses, and it's associate. Oh! Hold on! That's a portrait of the lady, and that's one of those porcelain statues from the first game. And what is coming through the mail slot? Who? Is, what is? What? It's just an eye. Something about the mall. I don't even know what to make of this. I, at first, I thought that briefcase was the one that uh, you wake up in. In the first game. Huh. Yeah, there's there's way too much swirling around in my head right now. Okay. Um, holy shit. Yeah, okay, okay. The dear, the Diasire. Um, yeah, it's associated with Christian eschatology. And Dias is day... Are we going to be good? Are you going to behave yourself? Okay. Um, and think of what, what Ire is a cognate for. Ire. Dies Ire is the day of wrath, of judgment day. So, the Dies Ire, the, the musical term, it's often been used for um, moments of tragedy, of great loss or turmoil. 
It's incredibly, incredibly common throughout film history, and honestly, probably other audiovisual media, or just audio media. <laughs> okay, good. I wish I had the trained ear and the musical expertise to point out whenever it comes up in games, but hey. Uh, but I can bring it up here because Captain Rick218 on the Little Nightmares subreddit actually made a post about this. Uh, they described Six's theme as a three-note loop with variations, with those main notes being from the Dies Irae. It may be that Six's entire existence is one of tragedy, of inevitable loss, or like with the case of the lady impending wrath. Oh, wait. I may have... Oh, shit. I may have just caught on to something else based on that. Uh, if I'll talk about it when the credits are rolling. We're gonna see if I'm right about it. Oh! God, I thought he was gonna stop at the ledge. Yeah, we don't have six to help us this time. This poor boy has nearly fallen to his death so many times. I think I need to sneak by them, but... Jo oh, no. Oh, God. Earlier, I th we saw those bodies dropping. I thought they were being... I thought they were dead bodies being thrown off the roofs. This is somehow so much worse. Uh, I'm pushing you off? This is moving, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. There's something else pretty important that I wanted to talk about today, but after I just went off, uh, I want to I want to give that a little bit of space, so uh, get a little more room for the atmosphere to breathe this episode. God, that was wild! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! What are you? Oh, not a friend. What the f- Oh! Oh. I really don't want to have to do it to him. Well, I was gonna hide, but no. Maybe you'll just run to the TV. Nope. You know I had to do it to him. Okay. Oh. 
so I do not know where that leads yet. And so rather than going into that blind, let's go through a vent. What the hell? Is this the garbage chute? Sure is. Okay, yeah, I can't reach that, so... Huh. What is actually the point of this? I guess we'll find out in a second. Wait, did that... Stop short because I jumped off it early? No, I just have to squeeze through. But first, was this anything? Aside from another eye? Which, holy shit, I just realized all the eye symbolism suddenly cast in a very different light. Let's see what this was all about. Noticing there's a hole. I don't know how that could help us. Um, middle floor with another one of those. Huh. Can I now go right back down? Did this reveal anything? So this took perhaps longer than it should have, but I'm going to try to go through the TV, hit the lever, go back through to the other side, and then jump on top of the elevator as it descends. So we're going to find out whether or not I have time to do that. And it looks like I do. Hell yeah. Oh, yeah, don't break your little legs. This particular room feels extremely lonely. Oops. Alright, so I read in an interview that 1984 was a significant inspiration for this, or at the very least, um, one that, that Tarsiers are happy to avoid. Oh, I thought I could make it to the tub. I just have to jump straight ahead. Uh, which, yeah, that makes sense. It's essentially the grandfather of modern fictional dystopias. Uh, it's been a good long minute since I read it, though. But I do remember TVs being a really uh, important, prominent motif in that book. Uh, they're one of the ways that the party keeps tabs on uh, Winston and the, and the others, right? Oh, shit. No, I just, no, I have to lure her in. Oh, no! I think I was just shy? I was just a little bit short. But we know what to do this time. So you have, like, the attire of the thin man, even, even down to the name. There's no sense of identity there. Just this looming, imposing figure. You know, he's he's the classic CIA G-Man type. The cigarette smoking man. That that type. Ooh. Which would make this ostensibly a totalitarian dystopia where people are dehumanized and dehumanized and reduced down to their basest instincts. And if you aren't Predator, 
in this nightmare reality, your prey. There are two classes in Little Nightmares, oppressor and oppressed, and the oppressed can only cope with the brutality around them through distraction, through escapism. The other way, which I think is totally valid as well, that you can look at this, um, is that the TVs are meant to represent indoctrination. And the signal being broadcast from the tower is a form of propaganda. Which, yeah, that would explain a lot, actually. It offers an explanation as to how people in this world may have become so monstrous and predatory. Nobody is immune to propaganda. So what are we doing with this? I think we're taking it over here, shutting the power off, and then... What's up with the TV? We don't know where that links to. Oh, hey. Um? Oh no, I'm stuck under it again. I can't get myself loose. Oh, I'm gonna have to restart the checkpoint again. I guess the, the other thing that I'm still trying to reckon with is... The ever-increasing emphasis on Mono and his specific relationship to the TVs and what he can do with them. Because in Little Nightmares 1, the antagonist of that was the lady. And 6 was a direct reflection, if not some sort of time-loopy clone of her. But they were meant to be like parallel characters. Foils for one another. And in the end, they ended up having the same powers. And now I'm growing concerned about Mono and the Thin Man. Okay, you can't get up on the windowsill, so I'm not really sure at the moment what the point of this room is. Okay, so I think now that the Powers off? What I want to be doing is pushing the shopping cart so that I can use it as an in-between platform to get to the TV. Which, I still don't know where that leads. Or how I'm getting back to turn the power back on to turn the TV. Oh, that's why that room's there. Okay. Oh, this is nifty. Because when the power's off, we can go in from the lower floor. No, that's way too far. Let's make our lives a little bit easier. That's fine. Let's test that out, actually. <laughs> yeah, that's good enough. Oh man, cut to 30 seconds from now when Mono is electrocuting himself because he just can't make that jump. Because he just missed. This is cool though, I like this puzzle. Okay, now power goes back on, which means the TV is back on. At this point, I'm just assuming that the TV is going to take us forward. Yeah! Part two. Yeah!
Nope, it's the windowsill. Huh. Oh, I hope they don't hear this. Nope, too infatuated with the TV. Awesome. Okay, so now... We can't get in there, but... They can't get inside once we're through the TV. And I think once we turn the TV off and run away a little bit... Their attention's eventually gonna catch the one in the window. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Oh, hello. Oh, no. No, no, no. Okay, we're good. Oh, shit. Another way they play with the theme of escapism is that you spend a lot of time very literally escaping. Oh, shit! I thought I could go through that. Oh, this is... Okay. Um... Whew. Whew. Okay. Something I noticed that even back in the back to the first game, uh, they they tune those escape sequences so they feel really heart pounding and tight. They are really really good at making you believe that you're gonna get caught. Uh, like way back to that one in the beginning of this game where the log is rolling down the hill at you. That is so well done. <gasps> <laughs> okay, no, we're not going in after. Holy shit. Um, oh, where did the axe come from? Jesus. Oh, no way. Maybe? Okay. Ooh, that made my heart jump. That's such a terrifying angle. Good. Oh, we are absolutely not good. Jesus, can you hear how thunderous? Oh, shit. How thunderous those footsteps are. Come on. We are Uncharted 2 now? Either way, I love the imagery of it. Oh, I'm worried that this is gonna work. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. It's pure escape.
It's pure haul ass. Oh, the slowdown's real. Oop, nope. Oh, this this feels really tight. <laughs> Shit. I got hung up on the wall. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Shit. Okay, so I have to avoid getting caught on on the environment this time. I already feel like I have a better head start, though. Come on. Woo! I'll meet you at Sawcon, Thin Man. Oh, there goes the remote. And my brain cells. I'm uh I'm a little concerned that Mono may not live long enough for CTE to be a major life concern. Shadow Six is guiding me forward. Did we somehow impossible space our way to the tower? this were any other game, you know what song would be, play <laughs> would be playing right now. <laughs> Whoa. God, the, the cinematography and the composition of these shots is so unbelievable. not running away the bag is mono's escape and he's done escaping oh god this rules holy shit <laughs> yeah Okay, wait. Is this? No, that's not right. I don't think I have I have the proper grasp on that mechanic. Oh, I'm so high right now, though. <laughs> yeah, this is right. Okay. Yeah, again, we're mirroring his powers, which is concerning. But still, this is so hype! He discarded it! He 
he discarded his need to escape from his fears and is confronting them. Holy shit, this game. going behind the door. We're going to where the thin man came from inside the signal tower. Okay. Ooh, this got really, really good! Thank you all for watching. Take it easy. Have a good one, y'all.